Good morning, my friends. And I say to you, welcome to Chapag Valley Bible Church, because even though we are not in the same room together, we are each in our own homes watching our service, and we continue to be united in that way and in many other ways. And I know that it's getting a little long, and we really long to actually see each other's faces in person and just be around each other and sing together and hear each other's voices. But we do know with certainty that that day will come. We just have to wait a little bit longer for it. This morning I'm going to read Psalm 46. This was the psalm that we read every Sunday of the Advent season. As um, in the hustle and bustle of that time, there were some important truths to remember about the Lord. Uh, as is always the case, but again, in this time where there is so much uncertainty and a lot of fear and a lot of hardship, I thought this psalm would be appropriate for this morning. So, Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow, the bow, and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I'm gonna read that last part again. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Heavenly Father, we know that you are our fortress and we thank you, Father, for words in our language such as fortress and rock that remind us of your ever presence, Lord, your never failing and your consistency, Lord. And we cling to that as we continue to walk through this time, Lord, where we do not know what is in front of us. Father, you are never failing, ever present. Your love knows no bounds. And I pray that we feel that love this morning as we move into our church service, Lord, and we move into worshiping you. Praise your name, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, and for our salvation. Amen. <laughs> 